Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the new Richarlison card to review. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is 5'11", high medium work rates, right footed, four star skills with a five star weak foot. In game player traits, he does not have the finesse shot trait or outside foot shot trait, but he does have the power header trait. Uh, in game attributes. Uh, it's it's a little strangely formatted. A little bit. I'm probably going to give him a marksman because a marksman chemistry style. Uh, if you take a look at the flashback one, because I don't think it's on Foopin yet. No. Uh, so if you take a look at the flashback one, a marksman actually gives him the plus 10 for long shots boost. Uh, so in this case, it would be like a plus 7. The dribbling would be improved and we would just work with the 93 balance as it is. So I'll probably just try him out on that to see what it's like. Uh, passing on the card... Is in a decent area for a striker. Nothing crazy special, obviously. Uh, dribbling we'll be experimenting with because of the fact that he's a 5'11 player with a lean body type. I, I tried out this card during that time period. I know that you guys uh, remember uh, this one right here. Uh, the showdown version didn't end up getting the upgrade. He was okay. Nothing really special about the card, honestly. Um, and then there was obviously the flashback card, which, again, same situation. Richarlison is the type of card where they don't really do anything too crazy with him honestly in fifa he's just one of those types of guys that like doesn't really feel uh crazy special but obviously we have to see what the card is going to be like in game right so uh dribbling we'll be experimenting with he does have 99 heading accuracy with 99 jumping so as a physical type striker you'll be able to utilize the power header trait on the card uh with some really good physical capabilities too so uh, it looks interesting for sure this should literally be one squad i'm not gonna lie to you let me see Two squads, okay. Ugh, five star weak foot, no skill moves on this bad boy. We'll see what this bad boy's like. Okay, let me go ahead and unlock him. Okay, uh, guys, don't worry about the chemistry. Obviously, there's probably ways that I can get more, but I just do it for the sake of the review. 10 chem, 100 chem is what I'm looking for here, so. um, Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna give him the marksman. I'm gonna test that out. Honestly, with the way balance works in this game, I'd probably still give him a finisher, but I just wanna see what he's like on the marksman first. Um, so League One team, 4 1 2 and 2. Uh we can definitely line it up this way. It's not a big deal. Rodrigo, Guidi. Yeah, we could do this. This is fine. Instructions for Richardson would be getting behind. And yeah, we'll see what he's like, man. Hopefully he's a beast. Yeah, so there I was trying to do like the, the quick left stick touch to go forward back. Um, obviously, you're going to have to work with that a tiny bit with this card for sure. Oh, I actually thought I had him there. I saw him push his goalkeeper, so I was like, you know what? I'm not going to be able to settle a touch and turn, so I'm just going to take the chip shot right away. Oh, he goes for a header, man. It's so weird to time it in this game. I want to go for a volley. Try finesse shot. Why not? Finesse shots are like a really inconsistent way of scoring, but he's able to score that one, so we'll take it. good push touch he kind of he kind of thought i was going to go back to that uh far post over there that's why he committed like that oh the chip actually worked oh never mind i take it back completely oh great game ea good job I'll take it so you see the dribbling there right uh you can see that the balance of the card because of the fact that he's kind of like physical oriented uh it, it affects the card they should have uh boosted the base card stats for balance i'm not gonna lie at this point in the game for sure but i mean you could technically give him a finisher but at this point like a marksman's nice for that extra physical boost to be honest
Oh, man. Man, man, man. I used his physical there, too. That was good. Uh, I gotta actually use them for the transition on the inside. Yeah, I try to I try to do like a croquetta then touch to kind of work that angle onto his weak foot. Try to do like a heel to heel from the first time. That's just like really easy to get that forced animation because of the fact that he's like physical. Agile players are kind of like stay on their feet, keep it going, you know. Nice finesse shot. Good finesse shot. Not even on a green, eh? He just uh, he just scores it like that. That's good. No uh, traits either, so. I always like to try the rough angles to see if they do anything like crazy, but it's just not a way to score. You have to do like the extra pass there. Oh, unlucky. That would have been a crazy first time volley, actually. Mm, I timed that well. He gets the challenge there, though. Unlucky. Another finesse shot again. Doesn't have the trait, but he's hitting them, so... And they're pretty, they're pretty good too. They're not like really bad ones either. No bad animation, no looped one. Like he's still hitting them. Yeah, I was hoping for the volley. I even waited for it to be a volley. That works. That's not what I intended to do initially, but we'll take it. Yeah, so that's me doing two skill moves and then trying to get the left stick touch off. Me slower, of course. Yeah, he should have made the run there. That one he has to be like way more attentive for sure. This guy thinks I'm tryharding in the defense. Okay. There we go. Nice finish, Richardson. Richardson. Nice. That drag touch, when you get it at an angle, the shots after that, they come off really nicely. That's why I just shoot it right away after. Yeah, so that's what I'm trying, right? It's the croquette to touch immediately. It's really helpful if you have, like, really agile players. Good shot cancel. That one actually committed a, a few of them there into that space. Oh, he gets the, the looped tackle, huh? Oh, I had to go for the audacity, bro. I had to. Yeah, see, even the white time shots that I'm hitting that, that are from the low percentage strikes, like, you can tell that he has, like, a really good direct one. So, the fact that he doesn't have the finesse shot trait, it doesn't matter with him. Yeah, I wanted to go for the first time. Again, you should settle, but for the sake of the review, we're going to try out some crazy stuff. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Richarlison card. So, guys, with this card in-game, we gave him a Marksman Chemist cell to make his shooting essentially perfect. Um, he doesn't have 
the finesse shot traits or the outside foot shot traits. But to be honest with you, his finishing is pretty solid. Um, I didn't actually think it was a problem whatsoever. Um, I actually had to make sure that he didn't have the traits because of the animation choices that he was doing for those types of shots. It was perfectly fine in my opinion. Obviously with this card, you know, with me thinking that the the Marksman Kevin style is the best choice, the balance you're going to notice, you know, like at this point in the game, like having players be as close to 99 as possible is definitely super, super ideal. He is physical oriented, which is interesting because he has a lean body type while being five foot 11. He's not like as agile as you think, like his body type in game doesn't look like a lean. It looks like a strong type of dude, which to be honest with you guys, you can 100% use this card in game and he'll actually do a decent job for you. You just don't want to like do too much with him. He's a card that's going to be uh, a usable version of himself, the best version of himself. You could definitely use him in the top tier divisions and he'll still do work for you um, if you actually utilize him properly. Uh, I personally don't do that much of crossing and stuff unless it's like from the corner kick. So if that's something that you like to do, uh, it is something that is something that you can work with, of course, especially for like the old gen because the old gen they have like this far post lob cross thing that's absolutely insane i've seen a guy use like Giroud and ibrahimovic going 20 and 0 because of how overpowered that is over there but um yeah listen with this flashback card right here you could still make this card work but you had to work with a few things uh with this card it definitely feels like an improvement the main thing that you notice though is balance with the height right and the fact that he doesn't have five star skills because in this game doing the l1 elastico the little flick ups and stuff it is a fun thing to work with when you are uh, building those types of teams so this card is definitely going to be more for the people that are doing like some spurs team some brazilian squad and stuff but obviously if you're decent enough for the game you could definitely utilize this card he's still gonna be pretty sick in game i was actually disappointed that he didn't have the traits but it didn't matter because in game he still performed really well uh if i do comparisons to strikers in this league i mean dudes honestly there's probably wingers you can use that are going to be better strikers than um this card i'm gonna be honest i think with richarlison mm, i like richarlison's movement better than this holland card i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know his high medium like fits me more but that's like that could be like a personal preference thing um youngman's son, son is absolutely still incredible it's a really really good card uh ronaldo that's the older ones Ginola. Gabriel Jesus is pretty decent. This Julian Alvarez card is really good. And if you didn't do this SBC, considering the fact that he's going to get the upgrade, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's definitely a, a card that's worth getting. So, to be fair, there's definitely a, a few striker options you can work with that are significantly better. But if you are the type of person like myself to build different teams and use cards that are good enough to use in the meta of the game, he's going to be a pretty cool card to use regardless. Now, the squad price should definitely be lower than two squads. To be honest with you, it should literally be one squad for what this card offers in-game. But... It is what it is. Uh, today they have the uh, Icon Moments player pick 85 plus times 10. Apparently this is uh, repeatable now. So you can see 98% because people are able to unlock all of the cards that they wanted to unlock before, like Neymar and all that kind of stuff uh, for those of you that did not have it yet. So, um, but yeah, that's it for the video today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. I'll catch you guys for the next one. It's not a crazy SBC. It's just an SBC you unlock that'll be good enough to use in the game if you are building a certain type of team. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy this one. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.